Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So today then we're talking low fuel sensor. Um, when I got this bike, um, I took it out for a ride and ran out of fuel. <laughs> okay, now when I put the ignition on, I'll show you, you'll, you'll see here, you'll see the low fuel, uh, you'll see the fuel light come on, the little orange one. There you go. And then it goes off again. Now, I was under the assumption that um, that it, it checks the system, the low fuel system, um, but it doesn't because the I ran out of fuel, so and the light didn't come on. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to get a tank up. Uh, I'm going to get a multimeter on it. I did it in the first video, but we'll just put the multimeter across the connections, and then we'll see if we've got any values coming out of it. Right then, I hope you can see that okay. Um, that's the, that's the uh, tank open. Right, so we've got the connector here then. This is for the, this goes to the sender unit. So let's just unplug that. And then we've got the um, multimeter set on, we've got to set it on volts. We don't want it on volts, do we? Let's set it on to continuity. Well, when reading ohms, let's have a look. Don't know if you can see that reading. All right, so this is coming from the tank. So if I put it across the contacts, we should get a little, we should get a reading. Up there, and up there, and up here. Nothing. There's nothing coming out of there. No, nothing. So the either the thyristor then is 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 broken. Um, didn't take a lot of working out, did it? Right, uh, that's my little lead um, connected up anyway. So we've got the thermistor on this side. So this can we can um, plug this in the loom, okay, at the other end, and then we can we can dunk this in some acetone that just replicates the petrol. Uh, fire the bike up, and hopefully um, the light should the light won't come on. Then if we take it out the acetone, the light should come on. Let's go and see. Okay, so that's connected. I've got my fly lead connected in. Right then, let's get round this side. Right then, now I've got uh, I've got some acetone connected to my bonnet stay. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's a bit of wood, but I call it a, 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 a tank stop anyway. Now, if we put this, this is the thermistor. Then, if we pop this in the acetone, that will tell the acid. That will tell the computer that we've got some fuel. All right, so it's in fuel. So in theory, then, if we start the bike up and run it, the light shouldn't come on. Then if I take the thermistor out of the acetone, the light should come on. And even it would be a bonus, wouldn't it, if it said F on the dashboard to tell us how many miles we've done on an empty tank. All right, so let's have a quick look. Enough of the gassing, let's get on. All right, give that a wiggle. Light goes out, fire the bike up. <laughs> Okay. Let's take, take it out of the acetone. Next, I suppose, is take the sender unit out of the tank. Now, let's see where that's located. Obviously, it'll be located in the tank, won't it, at the bottom. Let's have a little look. There we go. Just there, look. There's two. See the wire going to it. Well, and then, so what we got here, then. Let's have a closer look. Um, a little bit of rust on it been in the tank a little while hasn't it. Uh, let's get some kitchen roll and just uh, let's clean it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of you know a bit of a collection of something at the bottom. Uh, it's 
stands to reason, doesn't it? Oil floats on water and all that. It wouldn't, it wouldn't actually surprise me if we had a bit of a problem because of a because of the corrosion. Do you think so? We'll get the test meter on it. Okay, let's just clean that. Got to make me food on that later on. Got to make me sandwich on that. All right, let's have a little look then. It, it does look a little bit corroded at the bottom. Um, but before we carry on, let's just make sure we've got a bit of continuity going on between the contact here and the actual plug. Because if we haven't, then we've got something else to worry about, haven't we? So what's that going to be? The positive, is it? Let's try it. To here. Good. To here. Good. Let's do the negative then. So the negative connection should be here. Good. So we know that. So we know the connection between the plug and the thyristor is okay. All right. So next we need to maybe um, uh, we need to take the thyristor out of this little cap. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's get the soldering iron heated up and I'll come back. I had a poke with a screwdriver anyway. Look at the bloody state of that. Hmm. It's a bit, it was a bit all crumbly in there. Right then, now try and get this thing out. I don't think it's going to budge. I think we're going to have a bit of problem, a few problems with it. Well, I've got that out in the end. <laughs> just to just keep at it really. No, just desolder it so we've got the little hole and the little piece. What was left of the thermistor came out. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's in better days. All right, so next, well, we don't want this bit on here, do we? So let's just chop this bit off. Let's just strip that wire. Let's see what the wire's like. We'll just see if it'll tin up all right with the old solder. You know what wire goes like, it can go a little bit strange, can't it? So, just get a bit of heat on it. Come on. Do soldiers not? I'll bring it in very well. There we go. Oh, okay, that's tinned up all right. Yeah, that, that tinned up okay. Good. All right. Um, so I need to make, because I destroyed the um, bit of Paxilin that is keeping it uh, in place. Um, I'm going to have to find something else really. Uh, I'm just trying to think what we can use. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit in there, does it? It's just literally to stop to stop this connection, you know, hitting hitting the um, hitting the side of the canister. Yeah, all right. Let's have, I'll go and have a little look, see what sort of insulator I can find. Maybe a bit of heat shrink will do it. Mm, maybe. All right, I'll go and have a look. Okay, so a little bit of a change of plan how I'm going to do this. I can't. I thought I had a bit of old circuit board I could have cut out and put a hole in the centre, um, but I haven't. So I'm going to just reroute this a little bit, connect it to the tip of the um, uh, sensor, Okay, and I've got a little bit of heat shrink as well. I've checked if it's solvent uh, petrol proof, and it is, so that's good news. So I'm just going to connect this to this to this. With my soldering iron. Let's just tin this a little bit. I might want to tin it just a little bit, maybe. Okay, okay, good. And then we're going to connect this to this. This is when you need 12 pairs of hands. Let's have a little look. Shouldn't really carry the solder on the iron, should you? Hang on a minute. Just clean this tip. Looks like hell. The end of my solder and iron. Good. 
What's that? That's the awful. Oh, are they? Okay. So, just make sure this is tinned. Tinned, good. Let's get this connector on here. Good. Good, nicely connected. Get the heat shrink over there. Just use the solder now on that, can't we? Just to clean that up a bit. Right, so we got here, so uh, so the thermistor's in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it down the hole. I haven't put the piece of um, circuit board on the back, and you'd notice I haven't hooked the wire through this bit here. But it, it's pretty sort of steady, and there's insulation on there, so even if it does move and touch the side of the cap, it's not going to short out, it's not going to give a false reading. And I've soldered it through on the other side. Um, I've put a smear of petroleum jelly just on the seal, just a smear. Just to, I probably doesn't need it actually. But, um, and then we can go and fit it back in the bike. And then we put some fuel in it and see if it works. Righto. Well, I won't win any awards, will I, for my, um, <laughs> for my filming. Uh, yes, yeah, so the unit, I got it back in the tank. Um, sorry I didn't film that. I put a smear of Vaseline around the petroleum jelly around the seal. Uh, yeah, fired the bike up, the, the light doesn't come on, so um, yeah, good, I'll take it for a run tomorrow, just keep an eye on the um, on the mileage and stuff, and check the petrol occasionally, so I don't run out of fuel again, and hopefully the light will come on. Okay folks, well, yeah, it's a bit of a garbled, uh, bit of a garbled video today, but we'll see, you know, if you can pick anything out of it that might be helpful to you. Um, then at least I've done something. Alright folks, okay, well, speak, see you next time, next video. Cheers then, bye.